Big MAGA Republicans have chosen to spend the week focused on Secretary Mayorkas and Taylor Swift. That's their agenda. It's performative politics. I'm like, because, you know, you got to breathe every time you come up, right? Think about what we're doing. We're defending someone who refuses to adhere to the dots and tittles, who refuses to play by the rules. And so that Atlantis Morissette song in my youth is coming up. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? Paul Rick, have you no idea what irony is? Yeah. It's like Goldie and Bronzy, and he's made of iron. <laughs> Mr. Post described those efforts as mental dullness at high tension. Well, I think that really describes what we're seeing today, mental dullness at high tension. This historical evidence is overwhelming that the Founding Fathers intended impeachment to be used to deal with the commission of indictable crimes and the abuse of power. And as uh, Mr. Higgins will know, he's a fellow Southerner, I think another saying uh, appropriately describes what's going on here, and that's just shoveling the same old shit and calling it sugar. Mr. Chair, I ask unanimous consent to include in the record Cato Institute blog post titled, U.S. citizens were 89% of convicted fentanyl traffickers in 22, which shows just 0.0009% of individuals so arrested by Border Patrol just for unlawful title, entry Clark, possess any amount of fentanyl. Okay. That was the title. I was okay. To, I, was, I was getting to the period. Good, good job. Okay, good job. Please. My bad. Yep. You're right. Oh, bad. So you don't think it's a psyop to uh, help Joe Biden win the election? I don't know. She didn't have a very good track record in her support in Tennessee, so I would think that if it is, it's maybe on our side. It's a double D plant. <laughs> we got here. Oh, man. Oh, we're doing this for sure. <laughs> this going to be great. <laughs> I love <Yeah>. it. <laughs> have you apologized to the victims? I would you like to do so now? Well, they're here. You're on national television. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm Singaporean. No. Have you ever been associated or affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party? No, Senator. Again, okay. I'm Singaporean. Mr. Graves, who, by the way, his birthday is today. Which means all of you should vote for my amendment, sight unseen. <laughs> Mr. Chair, I oppose the amendment that uh, Mr. Graves, uh, uh, Representative Graves has offered. This amendment allows existing and prospective... We know it's my birthday. Every, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll get to that near the end of my statement, but I would like my five minutes to start over. Um, I don't, this amendment could have unintended consequences. I oppose this amendment. And with that, I wish Mr. Graves happy birthday. This is a good common sense amendment. And particularly in light of the fact that it is his birthday, I highly recommend everybody vote I. Hey, Mr. Chair, I, I, we got a term. I, can I survey my members to see whose birthday it is today so we can get a free amendment as well? <laughs> That'd be all right. Or anybody close? <laughs> Garrett Grace. Happy birthday, Garrett. <laughs> Taking my breath. I'm thinking I'm looking good. Leader McConnell and I have been working very hard to move negotiations forward and keep the spirit, spirit of bipartisanship alive. I guess you could say, I got 99 problems, but Mitch ain't one. I, uh, I, voted, for the, I voted for the tax package in a tuxedo tonight. I honestly, I can't think of anything more swampy than that. I feel overwhelmed. And um, I think I would best describe this as trying to get socks on an octopus. It's like the writers of Veep can't write this.